Okay, step 23, we're going to be doing these side mirrors. And this is one off the first truck I actually built. And we're going to try to build a little better than this. This is just kind of a fast one to make. So we're going to make a new one. And we're going to freehand it. So let's go to new. Do a cube. Make it editable. Go to points mode. Let's go to top view, F2. Uh, select your rectangle select tool. Make sure this is unselected here so that you can grab all the polys. And let's go ahead and scale tool, scale this in down about right there. I'm going to take this one, move it there so it's about straight with that one. You can put a little curb on if you want to. I will try to get straight as you can. There you go. Grab that one. Bring it down to right about there. Let's bring this one out a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now go to F4 front view. And what we want to do is bring this one up a little bit. I'm going to make it more look more like a mirror right about there. Then bring this up here like that. Okay, we're looking pretty good right there. First thing we want to do is we want to make some cuts to this. So get your knife tool. Make sure it's on loop. There we go. And we want to add a cut there. And then where we think the mirror is going to actually be, and we'll say right there we want a wide mirror and then add another little one. And do the same right here. Add one there and add one there. Okay, doing pretty good. Now we've got to add for the edge that connects to the truck, the actual truck. So we want to add a cut here and do one about in the middle here. There we go. And I want to go ahead and add a center one here and then a center one here. Okay. Now we want to make the mirror part. What we can do now is save this. And you can save it as mirror, which I've already done when we first started. Okay. We've saved it. Now that we've saved it, we're going to, what we're going to do now is make the mirror area, area excuse me. So let's go to polygon mode and do the live selection tool. And these are selected already. Let's reselect them. Select, 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 select. Deselect these right here. There we go. Now you want to enter extrude just a little tiny bit and then use your scale tool to bring them in a little bit more. And the reason I do that, if every time I do the enter extrude, it's going to take away from this layer area. This square will get super small and small, and then pretty soon it'll start to go over into this polygon and it'll screw our mesh up. So we want to leave it like that. Before we go anymore, let's go up here. So if we make a mistake, open your objects manager, and let's add a hyper nub to it. Drop a cube into it so that we can check our progress out as we're going along. Now we want to do an inner extrude just a little bit more and scale tool. Scale it to about right there. Let's make it a little bit thick. Then do your, you can do your ex, just extrude now tool. Extrude it just a little bit and then extrude a lot. And you get another one if you want to. There we go. That's looking pretty good. We want to go to top view, F2. Go to points mode. And we just want to do some tweaking here. We just want to pull this out a little bit more to get a little bit more style. There we go. And F4 front view, that looks good. A, in A to get your polygon mode where we can see it. That's straight. Go to F2 top, top view. And now what we got to do is get this set to a point here where this comes in. So you just want to grab these right here and go this way with them. Like that. And do the same for this one right here. So you get lined up and if you want push in a to get to polygon mode and we're getting that kind of look there and actually we go back and take that back like that so so it looks about right like that and now well this is going to fit in the, the window of the truck on the very corner towards the front and it goes up at an angle so what we've got to be able to do is what I would go ahead and do now, and we'll fit it on the truck after we get it over there. Let's go ahead and pull this one all. Oops, we selected that one we shouldn't have. Let's just select those right there and pull them all the way over. Stop there. And grab this top one and go ahead and pull it almost all the way over. 
then grab these two and do the same thing, but about halfway, give it a little bit of where it's kind of straight with that one right there or lined up with that one right there. So let's go back a little bit more, grab these two right here. There we go. You can add a curve to it to give some style. And let's pull this one out just a little tiny bit. Grab two more again. There we go. You gotta be careful that you don't grab the other side, other points on the other side. Pull this one out a little bit like here to get a little curve to it. And you can bring this one out so that we can have our corner just about like that. And don't worry, we're gonna make a cut here to make this more of a fine line here, but we first wanna grab these right here and pull them out, kind of even it out so it looks pretty cool, so it's kind of even with the truck. Now, before we do anything else, before if we go to F4 and add the angle here, we wanna go ahead and copy this and just copy the cube itself. We don't wanna copy the hypernova, we don't need it. So control C and go back to our scene we were working on. There we go. Paste. You can go ahead and name it now mirror. 